For the past two weeks, I have two clients that come to me who have the same issues. And I decided to do this video to share this with you because I know many of you are having the same issue as well. One of them are in the training industry. He teaches the boss on actually how to hit the KPF faster and also managing the team. The second one who are in the special needs industry, he teaches the parents and he also teaches the teachers in the special needs industries on how to take care of the special needs students. And their issue is that they are stuck in the repetitive training and they cannot get out of the so-called hamster wheel. So they have been doing training and teaching repeatedly. They have to be there all the time in order to make money. So one of them, they have to travel to many places in order to do trainings. And so it reached the point that they become tired and their income is capped. Capped in such a way that it's not that they are not making money. They are making some comfortable money, but it's capped. It's stuck in the hamster wheel that there are no breakthroughs anymore because they cannot scale, right? Because they are stuck in the one-to-one, -one, they are stuck in the face-to-face -face training, they have to travel everywhere, and then the moment they stop, everything stops. So how do you want to break out from this hamster wheel cycle? And I, I've been through that before, and I know many of people come to me, they are also in the same situations. The first thing, what we want to do is that you have to stop for a while, like stop for a while in order to think properly what you need to do next. You need to have some thinking time. So one of them, he stopped taking clients. He knows that, he, he reaches to a point that he knows that enough is enough. So even though their demand is so good, but he just cannot travel anymore, and he decided to stop clients like two months later. His schedule is full until like three months later, but after that, he decided to put a stop and he decided to shift everything to online because he don't have to travel anymore, <laughs> okay? And uh, so the first thing is that you need to have, you need to stop for a while to have your own thinking time, okay? You either stop taking clients for a while or you have some, allocate some time for like one week, two weeks to have some thinking time to think what is your next step to break out to the sales cycles. And I know it's hard to do for most of the people because you cannot say no to money, right? <laughs> so some people, like, you have people coming and want to pay you, but the moment you take it, you'll go back to the hamster wheel again. So first stop, take a break and stop taking clients possibly or allocate some extra time to have some thinking time. The second thing is that you want to break from this cycle, right? The hamster wheel cycle. You want to change your business model, okay? You want to change your business model so that you don't have to depend on you traveling and you have to be there in person in order to make that kind of money. So because training and teaching is very simple. I have to be there, I teach, and then I collect the money. If I'm not there, the money won't come in. So you want to turn this repetitive training or teachings into an online program. And you want to, re you want to turn it an online program where you have to record it, your module, so you have to be sure who you are serving, uh, what problem you're solving for them and what is your program uh, what is your program like so module 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and then up to 10 probably then from there you can record every single module so that it's all recorded then you want to start collecting clients start getting clients who are okay with online trainings and or online coachings basically to me it's the same thing whether you're doing online training online course or online consulting or online coaching, to me, it's the same thing because it's online. It's just how you structure a business model, that's it. So a lot of people have this mindset block is that, okay, uh, number one, they probably don't know how the online things works. They never done it before and they don't think the clients will want to go to online. Okay, or some of you probably have this issue where your programs cannot be done online because you require physical touch and all this thing. I understand. So the key is that how do we pick your skills that you have right now, that the skills, it doesn't have, it doesn't involve me to be in person. It means that I can do it from my home using my laptop, using the internet, and everything can be done online and I still can serve my people. So what kind of programs that can be done through that way? So you have to strategically design it in such a way that I can serve my people, I can still give value to them, I still can help them 100% online. So the first thing is to redesign your business model. Then after that, you're very clear about the, your target audience, the problem that you solve. Then you can start to design your programs, which we talked about just now. Okay, record everything step by step, and then you can support them through WhatsApp, Telegram, Facebook, Facebook group. Uh, so with all the additional Zoom support that you can make sure they can implement uh, every, all the knowledge, all the expertise that you want to teach them. So by doing this way, 
And all this takes time, you see, by the way. That's why you need to have some thinking time. You need to have some implementation time. And if you cannot stop, you will never be able to do this because you are stuck in the hamster wheel forever. You cannot say no to money. You, you, you just have to keep taking clients and all this thing. So, so taking the extra time, think, sorry, taking the break time and have some thinking time and implementation time is so important because you might, your income probably will like decrease a little bit during the first month or second month. But we want to stop for a while so that we can implement all these things so that we can get out from the hamster wheel. And the only way to get out from the hamster wheel, from my experience, because I come from a training background before, and what I'm doing right now, it's online coaching, serving people from many countries through online. Uh, so it's to really implement the online coachings or so-called slash online training, online consulting. So basically it's recorded your expertise and teach them that can watch anytime they want the recording. And at the same time, actually you can serve them through WhatsApp, serve them through Telegram or Zoom support or whatever it is that you decide. So let me give you one example. The client who are in a special industries, he's working with his clients one-to-one. -one. It means that he works with his client children and he serves them one-to-one. -one. The client is a rich client, he pays him very good money, comfortable income, but the criteria is that he has to serve his children one-to-one. -one. So it's a good money, it's a comfortable money, but when you're talking about growing every single year, the income, you cannot grow because your time is all occupied by this one-to-one -one slots. So now that's why he is stuck in this hamster wheel and we get to a conclusion that we need to change the business model. So how do we change the business model? Instead of serving the children's one-to-one -one right now, we will actually go one level up, we serve the parents with special needs children. So we come up with an online coaching program, we only design it to serve the parents who have these special needs children. So now when you shift to these online coachings, you no longer have to do one-to-one -one service anymore. The one-to-one -one service have to allocate to someone else. They have to find someone else to do it. So these parents are looking for advice and looking for methods from him on actually how to manage their kids at home. So it's no longer the parents hire him to manage the kids. So now in, he is in a position where he's a coach, right? He have all the expertise. He know how to take care of the children with special needs. And then the parents will learn from him all these techniques. So with this business model, it doesn't matter like how many parents come to him. He can be taking care of 50 clients. He can be taking care of 100 clients paying him 5,000 or 10,000 per client. That's actually where your income instantly grow. Now, let me use an average examples, right? Uh, if you are charging about five to 6,000 per client right now, because I don't have to do one-to-one -one anymore, and I'm switching it to these online coaching models, right? It's all online and I have recorded everything. So the clients just come in, they can study everything and I support them through Zoom, support them through WhatsApp or whatever support that you can think of. Then from there, it doesn't matter how many people come in, right? I can serve 50 clients. Let's say 50 clients. If you are charging about 6,000 per pack right now and you have 50 clients right now, so do the calculation right now how much you are making. So it's like 300,000 right now. Can you see the big difference where you just have a little shift of the business model and you instantly go out from the hamster wheel where you're stuck, your income cannot grow and you have to be so tired teaching, training, all these things. And instantly right now, you are making more money right now, serving more people and having the income that you want. So I hope you get the point of actually how we get out of the hamster wheel because I've gone through that before and all my other clients gone through that before. So this is actually how we successfully jump out from the hamster wheels, making the money that we want right now because if you can take in 50 clients, you can take in 100 clients. You can take 800 clients, you can take 200 clients. And also you can have the lifestyle that you want because now we don't have to travel anymore. We don't have to do in-person training or teachings and we can do everything online. We can still serve the clients that we want and we can have more time for ourselves and for our families. And it's a win-win for everybody. I hope this video gives you the clarity on what you should do next. And if you want to learn faster, you can go to my YouTube channels and you can watch the rest of the video as fast as you can. And if you are watching this from YouTube right now, if you have any questions, you can leave your comments and questions in the comment section below and I'll answer you in the next videos. And I'll see you in the next video.